Hey y'all, Ayla here. Welcome back to my channel. So I have another advent calendar. I've had this one for months. This is one of the first ones I ordered. In fact, the next one I'm going to make, next advent calendar I'm going to open, I've also had for months. Um, other than it's Ulta Beauty 12 Days of Bath um, advent calendar, I don't remember anything else about this, except that I love the look of it. I think my dolls will be able to use this very nicely. So now let's open it up. Is it magnetic? No, I don't think it's magnetic. I think it's just... Ooh, this is pretty. Okay. Um, oh, there is tape. Of course there's tape. It's Alta. Uh, that's a fail on my part. I should have known there would be tape. Come on. There we go. And yes, there's tape down here too. Okay. Hopefully that's it. Ulta really makes pretty advent calendars. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed. I do not buy Sephora's advent calendars. Those things are crap. I mean, they're just, there is no two ways to put it. They're, they're crap. Um, so, let's see. It looks like it's just going to run in order. I'm actually kind of glad. <laughs> it just makes it easier. Let's see. It's pretty thing. No hint on the box of what's in it, just day one. So let's open it. Of course, this is the 12 day of bath. Oh, I don't want to tear the box. Okay. So this is all going to be bath stuff. So the first day is a purple loofah, a plastic loofah, whatever kind of fabric that is. Um, I actually, I, I put these in soap and, and give them as gifts or sell them and stuff. I like real loofah. That, you know, you actually the plant that you grow. So here's day two. And day two is, I believe, a shower cap. It is just a plain old basic shower cap. And um, purple, of course. Day three. You know, we're going to just go right through this. I love this box pattern on this paper is gorgeous. Oh, we have little paper worms. What's in here? And we have a green tin. Oh, oh my gosh, how oh, this smells divine. It's a winter vanilla candle. Um, it smells like a Christmas tree. I'll tell you that right now. My office now smells like a Christmas tree. But when I open it, I smell vanilla. Mmm. But there's definitely Christmas tree in there, too. Oh, this is wonderful. I can't wait to take this home. Um, definitely. And it's a pretty tint. I like that. It's very simple. They didn't bother to do anything to it. It's just a nice, simple tint. Of course, this is Ulta there. It is a sticker. So I'll probably just peel that sticker off. Because that's just really pretty. Love that shade of green. So day four. Get a little wood. I was not expecting a candle in this. That really surprises me. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. I think I was going to order some of this and just totally forgot to actually finish the transaction. Um, this is Polar Bear scented, or, or Polar, Polar Bear, Polar Berry scented lip balm. Polar Bear scented. I don't think I would want to have Polar Bear scented lip balm. Uh, but this is Polar Berry. It is safety sealed. Oh, I just couldn't remember the safety seal song. Oh, that smells... Well, I'm going to show you like you can smell it. But it is this pretty pink. It's just... Uh, I love their lip balms. They uh, are just wonderful. Really nourishing on your lips. Um, they don't leave a greasy... I mean, it's already soaked in. Of course, you know, it doesn't hurt that I have very dry skin. Um, but yeah... I actually, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I find Ulta Beauty products to be very good quality. Well worth every penny I've ever paid for. So we're on day five. And again, pretty box. I think these are the same um, patterns that were on for the other Ulta. I don't even remember now what it was. <laughs> it was one of the first ones I did. We have another little pot here, but this is going to be a scrub. Yes, Polar Berry Scented Lip Scrub. We'll go ahead and 
Open this too. So lip scrub is just a sugar scrub. I'm sure it's sugar. And you just, you know, pretend that's my lips. You just put it on and you scrub it. And it just exfoliates your lips. Um, it's actually very gentle. I know my, my hand may look a little red there because I pressed a bit harder than I needed to. Not really sure why I did that. And you can clean it. Oh, oh man, this smells good. Oh, I do wish we had smell a vision. Mm, my hand smells really good now, but that's just a nice pretty little foster color. I do think they could have maybe put a little more in there. I realize it's kind of, you know, but it's still, this is pretty empty. And oh, sugar, sugar lip scrubs are super, super cheap and easy to make. I mean, I make them myself all the time. They're, they're no problem. And for anyone wondering, I use coconut oil and sugar, and then I put a, um, uh, a, oh my god, my brain. A flavor oil um, in it. I usually just use like vanilla. So we're on day six now. I confess I don't really measure when I make that, so I can't tell you how much. But they're super easy. It's kind of hard to go wrong. Uh, this is a scented body wash, Dreamy Snow. It's very pretty. It is safety sealed, so I'm going to leave it because I will be giving this away because I don't use that. Ooh, again, very pretty box. I really like this. I need to make a video showing what I do with these things, with boxes like this and you know, pretty, fab, uh, pretty papers like this. So this one is again Dreamy Snow and this is Scented Body Lotion. And day eight, again, cool paper. You really are just ripping right through this cat, this catalog. I don't know what I'm saying. I have no brain left. This one I'll keep for myself. This is Dreamy Snow Scented Hand Cream. So now we'll find out what Dreamy Snow smells like. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to lose the lid there. Hmm. Not really sure yet. Oops, I could get up on camera, couldn't I? Come on. There we go. Ooh, I was expecting it to be white. It's uh, a light lavender. Well, I guess that does make sense. The, the um, body lotion is lavender, so I guess it makes sense. I'm just not used to that for hand cream. <laughs> not used to that for any kind of lotions, really. They're usually just white. Hmm. I'm honestly not sure what I think of the scent. I don't want to keep showing you my hand like you can see anything on there. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like this. I'm going to have to think on this a little bit longer. So, Dreamy Snow may not be my scent of choice. What day was that? I don't Yes, eight. So, we're on day nine. Oh, that's right. They were in order, so I don't have to worry about it. Day nine. Another little squeezy tube. Winter Vanilla Scented Foot Cream. Okay. Wish it was something that said with the ingredients. I'll have to look online on their app and see. Because I'm like, what really is the difference between foot cream and hand cream? Um, I can't put stuff like this on my feet. I just, I can't. Ugh, no. Don't touch my feet. Let's see. Ah, darn it, I keep losing the lids. No, I can't. With the stuff that I have on my hands, I can't smell it. I was hoping I could smell it through the thing. It is safety sealed. Um, but winter vanilla probably smells good. God, I hope there's going to be another candle. I, I know there's probably not going to be another candle, but I'm hoping. That's really pretty. Well, I hope I've been in camera most of the time. I keep feeling like I'm looking and I'm not, like just then. All right, we've got something soft. Oh, pretty. Okay, this is a really pretty lavender. Um, I wear these all the time. Right now, of course, I'm wearing my holiday ones. Because it's the holidays. Um, can see how I've been calendars. But I do not have a lavender one, so I'm fine with that. Yes. Alrighty. Day 11. Oh, okay. For, 
I was just like, huh? <laughs> um, this is like bath, winter, yeah, bath confetti. Winter vanilla bath confetti. Little stars, different colors of green. Okay, I can smell it a little bit. There is a, a woodsy vanilla scent. I just realized, isn't that what this is? Yeah, winter vanilla, okay. Well, it's the same woodsy vanilla scent. That, that's really a good combination. I'm going to have to try that in some soap. I like that. Mm. These just dissolve in your bath. You just sprinkle them in your bath water and they dissolve. And they um, sometimes add color to your wash. But normally it's just a, a fragrance. And they might put some oil, emulsify a little bit. We are already almost done. This is day 12. Last day. Oh, I think this is the fastest I've ever done an advent calendar. Oh. Oh, there we go. We had to have a, a um, bath bomb in here somewhere. This is the Polar Berry, not Polar Bear. <laughs> I'm just going to tease myself about that. It sort of looks like a snowflake. You can see where it, it's kind of supposed to be a snowflake. Um, but it is kind of already crumbly. But again, I've had this for several months. Um, October, maybe, September. I can't remember if I had already started buying them when I went on vacation. I kind of want to say I had. So I could have had this as far back in September. And it's just been sitting around waiting to get purchased or waiting to get opened. And now it has been. So there's a bath bomb and everything else. I'm going to kind of scooch over here and put it and then show it to you all. Go ahead and sit down here. Let's see what we've got. The dream, or dreamy snow. Is that what these guys were? No, these are polar berries. And the, the um, bath bomb that's in here. I put it back in there to keep it safe. And so we have three things that are dreamy, uh, dreamy snow, three things that are polar berry, and three things that are winter vanilla. Not bad. Three, six, nine. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that was a brain fart. And then we had the shower cap. <laughs> the loofah and the ponytail holder. <laughs> oh boy, life is ADHD. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.